Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Odyssey Alpha Phase 1. And I'm going to be doing some transport missions because I have found that transport missions with a zero threat are obviously the easiest ones to do. They generally involve you going to a location, staying out of the way of people, well, I do anyway, picking up some documents from a container, they give you all the access codes. And you get anything between 70 and about 90,000 credits per run. Couldn't be any easier. You can multi-select these missions as well. Like I say, when you're just starting out in the game and you've only got the flight suit and a mediocre weapon, this could be the way of getting extra credits in Elite Dangerous Odyssey for you. As you can see, I've gone to a terminal in a space station, gone to transportation missions, I'm scrolling down, finding all the ones that are generally, you know, low in threat level, and I'm selecting them, stacking them up. Because when you get out there in a taxi, instead of going back and forth, back and forth between one mission and the station, taking up valuable time, and let's face it, it's a bit of a grind, isn't it? Right? Stack them up, do a few. There's a risk you could get caught out and, you know, the alpha nature of Elite Dangerous Odyssey could kick in and you could fail those missions. But that's an acceptable risk, I think, anyway. If it is an acceptable risk for saving a little bit of time. So, as you can see, I'm stacking up on my missions. Once I've got those, it's time to go and book a little bit of transportation in the form of Apex Interstellar. So I'm all done. Time to get upstairs and talk to the nice lady. So here we are, Apex Interstellar, the Apex Shuttle, good old Claudia Cox. Uh, for some reason it had told me I had a booking. I cancelled that, there was no dramas. I want to book a long range shuttle. For some reason short range from the station was causing some crashes. I'm selecting my destination. I'll go for the closest one first so I can see where my current location is on the station and then there's my destination on planet select the mission icon hold the mouse button down they take a hundred credits off me and it's time to get myself to apex interstellar's shuttle to taxi me to my destination so here are the turbo lifts as soon as you get that notification that says departing in two minutes to get to your shuttle, they'll unlock and they'll let you get yourself down to the hangar bay. Once you're in the hangar bay, then depending really on your settings I have found, you may get some rubbish strewn around the hangar bay, you may not. Either way, I think it's not as sterile as what it was. There's my shuttle over to the front of the entrance ramp. Press I and board. Now during the Alpha, this is where it comes to be really boring. It's the wait, it's the taxi ride without you having to do anything. But as we said, after a short while later, no more than 10 to 12 minutes perhaps, um, as being a passenger in that taxi, you get to go planet side and look at the renderings of the Elite Dangerous Odyssey planets. Much better. Got a nice purple hue over it as well. Skies have had an awful lot of work on it. Textures on the planets have had a lot of work on it as well. And this is still an alpha. One of the great things about being a taxi passenger is it does afford you an awful lot of time to use the external camera and admire how lovely elite dangerous odyssey is going to be or is at the moment you know like you say it is still an alpha look at the base there's our little taxi our apex interstellar landing on the pad you can get a good idea of the layout of the base as well with the external camera and i think a lot more people are going to be using that too once you're down it's time to disembark now this mission a transport mission collect documents we haven't got to take anything with us other missions do require us to take something with us now here's a couple of pointers as well you'll see some guards wandering around i tend to steer clear of them anyway right 
If they do cross paths with you, what you need to do is stop. Let them scan you. If you haven't been a naughty commander, that is. Although I've taken the stealth approach. I'm approaching the hab. You can see it's the hab because it's got hab written on top of it. Now I've been granted clearance to get in here. No dramas. So I can just approach that door. No cutting, no access code required. Straight in towards the terminal. Now you may get questioned by some of the scientists and other people around, but generally if you stay out of their way, they'll stay out of yours. Accessing the Achilles operating system terminal over to facility. Now we're looking to collect the container 11, the item from container 11 in the dorm of the habitat. You need to go to habitat, select that on the left hand side, and then try and find container 11. Now, given it says, or oh, it's in the dorm, or it's in the recreation area, or whatever, don't take that in the alpha as a given. I have found some of these containers outside. Okay, so the information on the objective was wrong. But again, like we say, Elite Dangerous Odyssey is in alpha. So I've selected the container I want, container 11. And now we've got to try and get to where that little yellow target is. So in through some more doors. Into the dorm. Got food dispensers, bunks, lockers. Another scientist with a laser weapon. Approach the container. Interact with it. Type in your code. 0902. In this case, hit the tick, and there's the personal documents. Collect those, time to make your way outside. Now, what I've learned is as soon as you've got this mission item, it's worthwhile calling Apex Interstellar for a shuttle. You're going to need a dust off, you're going to need an evac, right? And it does, they're not there instantaneously. So it's probably good practice to say, right, set your destination while you're in the complex while nobody else is scanning you or bothering you or anything else. I mean, I'll be going on to my next destination, which is a military complex. So, my shuttle is booked. Time to make my way outside. And hopefully the shuttle won't be too long. There's the airlock. Out we go. Retrace my footsteps. Again, staying out of the way of any sentry skimmers, staying out of the way of any soldiers, making my way over to the landing pad. And we'll get the notification that the shuttle is inbound. When the shuttle's inbound, see, you can see it coming in. Time to make my way over to the landing pad. Wait for it to land. And it's time either to go on to your next mission or go back to the originating station and collect your money. It is as simple as that. But when I say it's as simple as that, make sure these are threat level zero. If they're anything above that, then you might get into a little bit of mischief. Into board the taxi and away we go. Well, that was how to do a threat level zero transport mission to collect some personal documents from a settlement. Looks easy. There's a steep learning curve here, which I'm sure everyone who's played the alpha will agree. Visuals can be stunning. Game can be glitchy. But again, we are still in alpha. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. Check back for more Elite Dangerous Odyssey videos in the future. And we stream live on a Saturday and Sunday. I'll see you soon.